back as well. It's Bayer. They are the right ones on the back. Robin Andres. <laughs>
So if he was going to build the team to the standard he wanted it to be, he had to adapt. Alonso noticed that his new team was open, so he used the 3-4-3 formation which allowed him to have five players at the back. This allowed his team to block compactly and prevent opponents from you know, doing really anything much with the ball. From his first match this season against Schalke 04, it was clear that it could be a new era for Leverkusen. His formation and tactical changes yielded results. Leverkusen reached the semi-finals of the Europa League before they lost to the special one, Jose Mourinho, who managed a win from a single goal across both legs. Alonso might have his team compact defensively, but Mourinho was something else entirely. At the end of the season, Leverkusen finished sixth and qualified for another Europa League. The odds were against them, but they had managed to turn it around. Now the question was, was it a fluke? Well, it turns out it wasn't. Leverkusen would go on to dominate the Bundesliga in the next season. They grew mentally, physically and technically. So the question is, will they go all the way like Arsenal did in 2003-2004? We at this channel are going with yes. If they do, they'll likely have many less draws than Arsenal did in their invincible season. Arsenal managed 26 wins, 12 draws and 0 losses over the 38 games played in the Premier League. With a handful of matches to go, Leverkusen have only drawn four times. They're also still in the Europa League and the DFB Pokal. And it's worth saying here that firstly, of course, Arsenal's competition was stronger than Leverkusen's, with some of the English giants such as Man United and Liverpool competing with them that year. Now also, Arsenal went 38 games unbeaten, whereas Leverkusen will only have to go 34 games. Now, don't worry, Arsenal fans, I've got you. But Leverkusen, they could do it. So will they? Will they go all the way? Well, history suggests that they won't. The employees of the German pharmaceutical company Bayer AG founded the club in 1904, and it's only won two major trophies since. The club won a UEFA Cup, which is the older version of the Europa League, in the 1987-88 season, and a DFB Pokal in 1992-93. Now, the club had the opportunity to win a treble in the 2001-2002 season. However, they bottled all three of those titles, managing to lose the Bundesliga to Dortmund on the final match day, they lost the DFB Pokal to Schalke, and Real Madrid beat them in the Champions League final. Their three out of three failures earned them the name Never Cusen, the club that will never win. Now, apart from their disastrous Neverkusen 2001-2002 season, Leverkusen would also lead the Bundesliga until very late in the season in 2008-2009 before losing it all again. So with that kind of history, we understand if people believe Leverkusen can't go all the way. However, history is part of records and records are meant to be broken. Now already, Leverkusen are breaking them. They've broken Hansi Flick's Bayern Munich's record for the German league with the longest run without defeat in all competitions. Under Flick, Bayern played 32 games without losing and drew only once. Leverkusen have now outdone them by having 40 plus games undefeated. But still, Leverkusen are not yet finished breaking Bayern's dominance. The Bavarian club have won 11 Bundesligas on the trot teams that chase them have a reputation of losing steam before the season ends. However, Leverkusen have dared to be different. They are the only team in the top five leagues in Europe to be unbeaten, and that carries a lot of pressure. But Leverkusen aren't really bothered by the pressure. According to their coach, Xabi Alonso, they aren't even thinking about the invincible tag. They aren't even thinking about the end of the season. Now, Alonso claimed his team are focused only on the next match. Well, a truly media-trained answer, I must say. In his post-match interview after Leverkusen drew Karabag in the Europa League round of 16, Alonso had this to say. To be honest, I'm not too scared of the first defeat. It can happen. That's football. I won't be worried. The most important thing for me is that the momentum, the mood and the energy in the team is good. And hopefully that will still be the case after a defeat. But Alonso's team aren't ready to lose. Now, with the league wrapped up, 
Will Leverkusen go all the way and become invincible as Arsenal did? Let us know what you think in the comments section. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more.